Hey, I'm Matt. Um, this is my, uh, the Survival Punk Challenge. This is my entry. I know I'm cutting it close to the day of, but, uh, yeah, this is my entry. So, um, it's the day it's due. He said he might extend it. I don't know. But, uh, this is, uh, the DIY survival equipment. So, um, I have a pill bottle that had medication from the VA for me. I took the medication and have a pill bottle. Uh, all I did, the only thing I did to this, pull the label off. Okay. And I'm going to be using this to make a DIY uh, survival sewing kit. And it's going to be, you know, you can use that for your bug out bag, your vehicle, a uh, locker at work, school locker, because I don't believe there's anything in here that you cannot have at school. Um, you can use it for your desk at work. I mean, when ladies, your purse, although this might be a little clunky for a purse. But take a spool of thread, just an entire spool. And this one is uh, Dual Duty Plus. Here, go ahead and move it down some so we can see. This one is Dual Duty Plus 50 yards. It's a little bit less than 50 yards, not much. But it is a, a crafted button. So it's going to be a little bit stronger. All you do, take that, make sure you have a pill bottle and a thing of thread that can fit down in there. That's all you do. Okay. Actually, I'm going to snip that end of that off. It's bugging me. Okay. So make sure your thread fits down the pill bottle and I took a a cork out of a wine bottle out of a bottle of wine cut it off and I took three took three needles one fairly long and one uh real real stout and then one really fine one for doing finer stuff but I like to have a variety of needles and you do not want the needles all spread out on the cork put them all fairly close together so it makes it a lot easier when you pull them out of the, the bottle. All you do is you take those, dump that down in the pill bottle. So, and the piece of cork, it's, it's, the, its sole purpose is to hold those in there. But if you're in a survival situation, you could use that for several different things. So, safety pins. And the reason I attached all the safety pins together like this, because I want you to be able, I what I like Instead of having 30 different things in here to try and get out, you have four different things to get out. So imagine if you're in a stressful situation or trying to get this and it dumps, you're going to have stuff all over the floor. So just take that, dump it in there, and then buttons. Again, on a safety pin. Got a variety of different buttons and buttons, I mean, easy to find. And just, you can find them dollar stores, craft stores, uh, big box stores, um, you know, estate sales, thrift stores. And just put that in there. And that's a little survival kit. Now, if you have a small pocket knife or a razor blade, you can put in there. Um, I don't see why, because... I have several knives in my that I carry on my person and that I do that that I have in my bug out bag and all my other kits so I don't see the purpose of including a knife in here especially if you're gonna forget about it and have it in your backpack and you go to school so yeah and it's quick and easy to get everything out just And there's everything. So we got a, again, nice dual purpose thread, buttons, safety pins, and and then the uh, needles on a piece of cork. And you can add super glue to this. Uh, I mean, there's another number of things you can add to this. So that's my uh, down and dirty DIY survival sewing kit. And uh, I will have more videos with um, 
pill bottle mini survival kits. So, uh, thank you, and this is my submission. That's my submission. So, bye.